symbol of the kindergarten first grade, you know, when kids really start to either love or hate learning. And for her not to be able to finish her primary learning, it's it's tragic, really. I'm a fifth grader in elementary You're a fifth grader, wow. Grade which which grade school? Grade. Oh, I'm in Edwards. 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 So it's going to get close to the school. my friends, they're probably thinking, yay, shorter school year. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking like that if we have shorter school year, we probably won't be as intelligent as some other kids. And uh, I, I'm sure that you know people will raise money, and there'll be another, there'll be big donations, donations to come up, but it won't be enough. Yeah. And I fear uh, that it will alleviate what the public sees as a crisis. And so they'll be like, oh, they got a donation; they yeah, must yeah. be doing well That's now. What they do. Ah, All right, can we observe a moment of silence for the death of public education? I'm putting in my copy of Macbeth because we're probably not going to have enough school days to finish it. Yeah. Hey, that's true. Okay, my friend from Trillium would throw in her math book, but they don't have any high school math textbooks. Yeah, I'd just like to say, without sports and school, there's really nothing for me to do, so I think I'm going to go in the coffin. <laughs> Don't break it. Come out in a few hours. Okay. <laughs> Stay in there. Just about everyone I see in the halls can't walk down the hallway without seeing someone I played a sport there with. And my dad today teaches uh, and coaches soccer at that same field. He coaches my little brother's soccer team. And all those, all, they're not going to have any place to play, any place to, uh, to just get together and have fun. I'm throwing in an, an idea, which is that there's no point in throwing away your books because you don't have to have a school to finish them. And if everybody here truly cares about education, I would strongly encourage them all to continue reading, continue learning on your own. You can get textbooks from Goodwill for 50 cents. You can learn from your friends, you can learn from adults you know. So there's no reason to abandon education just because of the fact that our system is trying to destroy it. And I would encourage everybody to take their individual power and not rely on a system to educate you anymore. Taxpayers pay for it. Mm -hmm. I think that it's ludicrous that we have to stand out here and do this just for the taxpayers to realize, you know, that Measure 28, it meant that we were going to lose everything, you know. We were going to lose the money, you know. Now we have kids, now we have kids, you know, going to be out of school 23 days early because they decided to vote no and didn't want to pay for the kids. But yet they say they want their kids to get a better education, but they don't want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, people, we have to fix it somewhere. And it's not going to start by crying about it and not doing anything about it. It's also not going to start by saying you want everything for free either. And I have no clue yeah. what it's like to get to school 10 minutes early to get a class in the seat or to open your textbook to realize that acid wash pants are still in style and that the Berlin Wall is still standing. <laughs> Next year's situation will be even worse. The student-teacher teacher ratio will be 1 in 42. That means that the average class size will hold approximately 46 students. Most classrooms hold no more than 35 students. How does this state propose to squeeze the other 10 in? Will they be sitting on the counters? Most likely. We have gathered here today to express our deep concern for the direction of this country. The students have been insulted year after year. Our future has been ignored and we are not going to stand for it. Yeah. Bush wants to go to war. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, you dumb president of the United States. Right. And excuse my language, but aren't you supposed to fix stuff in the home front before you go overseas and try to fix stuff? Exactly. And are we not the ones that gave them the chemical weapons that they have now? One, two, three, four. We don't want your oil war. Five, six, seven, eight. We just want to graduate. One, two, three, four. We don't want your oil war. Five, six, seven, eight. We just want to graduate. One, two, three, four. We don't want your oil war. Five, six, seven, eight. We just want to graduate.
Not gonna, not gonna, not gonna be tolerated. But I'm just drumming. But I'm only drumming. Not gonna be tolerated. Not gonna be tolerated? No, sir. Have there been uh, military recruiters in y'all school? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're like yeah, they're twice the a week. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to beat them with a stick. <laughs> This rally and this movement is, you know, trying to get it out in the public's eye to tell them that, okay, you know, you may be against education, but you will not ignore us. What is the law? Never mind. I'd like to know. I'm, I'm trying it's to be an okay. educator. You're okay. fired. They're not going to do anything wrong. Hey, you're not allowed here. You're, you're legal. What's up, you guys? Hey, we're building Walk your arms together. Real tight. This is City Hall. Sure. Take over. Okay, uh, one of the reasons why we're here today is because we're asking the City Council to reconsider passing their resolution against the war in Iraq. Yeah! I've gone through an elementary school losing my PE, losing my music, to go into middle school not having either, losing cutting in my middle school, getting shut down, and now it's hitting my high school that I go to. I was wondering why it's so hard to get school funding for 50 million when you so easily pass through an OHU's SU bill for 200 million. This is an education as well. The skating ring is funded with funds that are not available to any of us to deal with the issue that you care of. The businesses are taxing themselves for that particular purpose. It is not any of our dollars that are funding schools that can be used to funding schools. No, look. I know what you want and I know what you need. You need a full school year. You need a full school. I, I, I don't think I. What did I say? Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Is anyone. I don't think I said anything that ought to elicit all those screams. I said, we can't, we, the city, and the county, and elected officials need to clearly understand 
that we have to deal with the, this issue here and we have to find the resources to fund schools adequately. So I'm on your side on that one, all right? Thank you, everybody. Amen. And I think everybody here really needs to realize what just went down. Because these motherfuckers came down here and they stood here and they talked bullshit to us and they saved face and they said what, they, what we wanted to hear. You know, and they told us little things. They gave us some rhetoric and some fucking runaround. Yeah. I think we did not. I think we did not go away from here appeased and you know, like feel like everything's gonna be okay because it's fucking not. We live in a fucking police state. And we live in a war ground and things are fucked up. I'm sure that the city and the state are very happy to have us down here. <laughs> I, um, I'm not sure if we broke the sitter stand ordi ordinance. Uh, um, are we going to come next month? Are we going to come next week? Are we going to come in four hours? We're not going to stop until we get our education back. We're taking it back and we're doing it one person at a time. We're doing it one city, one county, one state at a time. Yeah! We'll be back! We'll be back! We'll be back!